All right, I'm going to show you how to connect your Google business so that you can into your Google ad account so that you can run ads like this. My name is Rob. I own Feedback Ranch. I do websites, marketing, and sales growth for small businesses. Been doing this for over a decade. So what you notice is on a paid search ad, if you connect the local asset into the Google ad account, you're going to be able to run an ad that, that shows like this. And it's pretty powerful, especially if you have a ton of reviews. So I'm going to show you how to do that inside of this Google ad account. So first, what you need to do is make sure that you're logged into your Gmail. Um, sorry, the Gmail that when you go here and you go to this business profile manager, this thing here, you're actually able to see your Google business. So if you cannot see that, um, or, or if your Google ad account is run by a different account compared to which one has the Google business, I'm going to show you something quick. If that's the case, maybe you have two Gmail accounts, you can come in, you actually go right here and you hit business profile settings. And once you get into here, you'll are able to add people and access and then add the account. So whatever master account is on the Google ads account, you want them connected to each other. Piece of advice, I would personally make sure you add in maybe you and your spouse and some other Gmail accounts just in case something happens there. It's really hard to get back into your, your Google account. So back to hooking it up so that your Google uh, can show up in Google paid search ads. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come into your Google ads account. You're going to go ads.google.com. Make sure you have the correct one selected up here. And then what you're going to do is hit campaigns on the left. I don't want you to select campaigns, but under the campaigns tab, uh, well, what we're trying to do is get to assets and down here in assets, you're going to click assets. When you get to assets, there's all these funny things called assets. You've got images, business name, logo, all this stuff. What we want to do is go to location. Now, it could be that your location is just in here, um, but sometimes it's not. So what we need to do is we need to hit create asset. And inside of that, um, it's going to go through. There's a couple different ways to do this. There's location groups. There's one uh, location. You can do it for the campaign. Um, and it kind of depends on how you've got this whole thing set up, but sometimes what'll happen is it'll pop up and it'll make you again, go to the assets, go to the assets, go to location asset. When you hit plus there, um, our goal is that the Google business shows up down here. If it's not there, um, you have to play with it a little bit. Now this has changed a lot. You're going to go create asset. Sometimes what has to happen if you have like more than one, you actually have to grab the the exact name of the Google business profile that you're using. Like here, it's Feedback Ranch Web Design and Marketing. And when you search for it, it says filter by whatever type. You're going to hit plus here and get into this again. This is kind of different um, because I have these groups and whatnot. But um, here we go. And we'd hit save and go. The goal is that it's down here. So um, I'm not showing you specifically because it can look different for different organizations. But that is what will get you so that when you run ads, if it, and these will only pop if you're like in a 30 to 40 mile circle. If you are, you know, one of the people doing the Google ad and it's right here, um, you know, you'll see this is powerful because we've got, you know, Zendu, Precision Text. These are big nationals, but down here is a little cheat code. Local businesses are trying to rank in Google Maps, so they're paying attention to Google Maps. So local businesses, especially if you're an accountant or B2B, they're often paying attention there. But if you do that, then you'll be able to run these Google local uh, things.